This week on The Acting Class. You are now entering the world of Savannah Gallardo, acting coach to the stars. There are no boundaries, there are no limits. There simply is the art of the infinite possibility. I feel, I want, I need. Welcome to The Acting Class. Welcome. Everybody, you want to remember that this is a very, very safe place to work. Okay, you want to work from your heart, from your soul. Okay. You want to know that you're enough, right from the get-go, that you matter, that everything you do matters. Everything you do matters. Every cause has an effect. I believe in beauty and art and creativity. I don't believe that acting is a, um, I probably can't even say the word, uh, a craft. I believe it's an art, just like I believe that living is an art. Well, I, I think people, and I'm not talking about actors, but people, if they were more truthful and more honest about how they lived, and not expecting from other people, expecting people to take care of you, expecting, uh, that doesn't really compute for me. So, what we're gonna do first is just concentrate on breathing into the instrument, letting all the tension go in the body, relax the jaw. That's right, and all the movement should originate from the pelvic area, breathing down the back, and then moving your bodies erratically. The acting class wants you to win. It was definitely something that I had never experienced before. You know, you go through the warm up for the first time, and you, you look around, and you're like, what are these people doing? You know, you, you kind of think to yourself, am I supposed to? What, what's going on? You know, you're a little confused, a little unsure what's going on. When we started with the warm-up exercises, uh, Terry, don't laugh, don't, you know, those thoughts, man, is this a cult, what's going on, you know? I mean, I know it's not a cult, but it was just, it was funny if I was looking on the outside. Well, the first time I came down here, I had a suspicion it was gonna be like this. And I thought, well, you know, I don't know how I wanna go through all this. You know, because I had heard that it was intense by quite a few friends. But at the same time, I, they couldn't say enough about it. Basically, you got to listen to Savannah, to what she says. But at the same time, as much as you listen to Savannah, you got to listen to your heart. You got to listen to your soul. And you got to listen to what makes what makes you you. My work is different, or well, the work that I teach is different, because we get really close. I get the actors to get as close to the line as possible without falling off. A lot of people, a lot of other acting schools, they plan it all out, they have it all figured out before they even begin. And in film especially, that's not really good. You don't even see the other actor a lot of times until you're on the set the first day and you could be doing a love scene or you could be doing a hate scene or whatever scene. And so these exercises that I designed help you make it real make it very real, make it very personal in, in the moment. But just so you're operating from your own truth all the time, all the time. And everybody, everybody, just start working on your light. Just imagine the light forming in the center. And you're gonna feel that light moving all through the body. All the camera's doing is photographing your light, photographing your energy. Always, always working with this light. It makes you special. It makes you jump off the screen. All right, so we're going to break all the habits. We're going to take that light and space and move around the room. Be aware of the energy in your fingertips. The energy in your bodies. And you want to know in your hearts what it is that makes you special. Why should someone take that chance on you? Okay, this is the body and soul exercise, and we're just going to go through a journey through your life to see if you can remember back to this sad, saddest, saddest uh, time of your life. Uh, 
That's right. Everybody has the same needs and wants and feelings. Everybody wants to be seen and heard and everybody's felt everything. Nobody can teach you that, but they can teach you how best for the camera to record it. Make the biggest sound you can make. and just let your body move from the center so that the movement and the sound that you're making and everything inside of you is one. I really believe that it's your job to show your heart and your soul. And it doesn't matter what it is that you're doing, if you're acting in front of a camera or if you're preparing dinner or if you're having a party or you're playing blackjack or building a table to do the best that you can do and not walk through something. Too many people walk through life. Just keep your feet down and just from the pelvis, move. That's right, that's right, that's right. There's no right way, just go, 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 go! And sound, make the sound! <laughs> The exercise that I chose to do was body and soul. It was like I broke out of a cocoon. I knew that deep down inside I needed to tap in to these feelings, to these, you know, to that, those feelings, the pain, and you know, just everything that uh, that I was, that she was leading me. How does that feel? Uh, I felt like I was breaking out of a out of a prison. I, I liked what you did. Um, I mean, I liked what you did. Just because somebody says okay or cut, that's just, right. you know, you don't just then come right. to. That's dangerous. I, I just want it more um, raw. I think actors should be aware of everything that's happening around them, but not make a conclusion about anything. Okay, just allow what is and see it, see it, see it, absorb it until your response takes its own life. Everybody, you've been working really hard. Um, I've been teaching a really long time, and uh, I started in New York, then Los Angeles. So many people have come through the Gallardo studio and taken the acting class, including Angelina Jolie, Annie Lee, Rex Lynn, Billy Drago, Darren Burroughs. You recognize these people. And Gabrielle Soto, John O'Hurley, Keanu Reeves, Kristana Loken, Peter Wilson, Gwendolyn Yao, Tara Subkoff, Michael Weiss. I'll tell you some of the work, just other people now who are coming up and uh, people that I really believe in, and they'll demonstrate some of the exercises that you will do later on. Look here and, and uh, you'll see a couple of just little scenes. I want you to see how low you are. I want you to quit crying about your own sorrows. I want you to quit crying about your own sorrows. As Jason. I want you to quit crying about your own and sorrows. Amy. I want you to quit wallowing. I want you to quit wallowing. I need you to quit wallowing. I feel, I feel like you don't get it. I feel so small. I need you to get out! I need you to get out! And this is Danielle. I want you out. I want you off. Let the camera stay you. you this is the alone in your off. room exercise. I want you, when off. you feel everything is gone. I was just thinking about you and um I can't make it this weekend. Why would I do that? <laughs> no, of course I'm okay. Of course I'm okay. What do you mean? Why would I not be okay? Of course I'm okay. <laughs>
No, no. It was fun working with different people and seeing them rise to stardom. That's a great feeling. Uh, a lot of teachers are competitive. I'm not. I, I take all the credit for all the people. <laughs> this is the alone in the room exercise, right? In this exercise, it's really important to surrender. I feel like I could have done better. I need for you to know I care. But everything you do fails. <laughs> when you were strong and now you're weak, what can I do? I want to feel everything that life is. Stay away from me. And what I do with my students is they discover who they are and what they need and what they want and how they feel. And they can translate that into any role, into any part that they play. Everything that I do is about seeing clearly and really trusting in you, trusting that you're enough, trusting that you, the answers are inside of you. I just remind people, remind them, remind them that they're special. Remind them that they're enough, remind them that they matter. I know all of this is very serious and very what I want, I feel I need, but we also do some fun things in here, and let's just let's just do this exercise. It's ridiculous. I uh, just have to be honest with uh, any woman out there is that I have no money. <laughs> A few liens against me. The IRS is on me, <laughs> um, so I can't own anything. But then, so we'd never own anything together. Is what I guess I'm trying to say. But I can listen well. I do listen well. Uh, I like to travel. So, uh, you know, so I'm obviously looking for somebody who has money. Uh, and doesn't mind sharing it. Okay, let's do a cheer. Hooray for me. Hooray for Greg. Hooray for me. Hooray for Terry. Hooray for me. Hooray for Mandy. Hooray! Yeah. Uh, hooray! Huh? Wow. God did a good thing when he made me. <laughs> <laughs> and he's my pal and he's been watching out for me and yeah. I am very lucky. Hooray for me because I love beauty and I love the soul and I love the journey that everybody's on. And hooray for me because I get to meet so many fabulous people. And nobody dares come in here and not be truthful. You can't. You can't. So, hooray! Hooray! Goodbye for now. See you next time. I love success stories. Goodbye.